Let's talk about a tea party. <laughs> Somebody here is with the rest of the people in the nation going to do something on April 15th. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, on April 15th, people, this is your time to show <laughs> that you are your own special interest group. Um, I think it's the time to do it. Um, we're really starting to see the effect of bad government. And, and that, with the super ferry going down, bad mm. government with the only way to save Hawaii is to raise taxes. That's what some people believe. And, and there's so many people, like in my own family, I have a member in every union. And of mm. course, the family members that are in the state unions are doing a lot better. My other family members got pay cuts or got fired. Mm. And so all of us have been pulling our money together to, to help the others survive. And um, one of my relatives, they just had a baby boy. And so and he got laid off right after he got born. And um, and of course, my family members that are in the unions for the states is well, gosh, we get paid so low and we sacrifice so much. You know, mm. they're frustrated themselves because there's so much government that changes their role every every mm -hmm. every week. So they weren't too happy about the pay cut, but now they're understanding the whole picture. Mm. And so mm. this this tax party is for everybody, even union members. You come on down because you're going to be having to pay more for that loaf of bread, um, uh, more for the cereal. And unless we put our, our feet down and at this building and say, you know what, stop talking about tax increases, find another hmm. way. And T stands for TEA, taxed enough already. already. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's the T, whether there's I symbolic T that you're going to take and throw over the side of the ship, maybe yes. another issue. We're not really sure what we can legally do yet. We're, um, <laughs> we're working on it, but there's going to be a lot of families, a lot of kids, um, mm. a lot of people out there. Um, we're going to have um, our anti-tea tax um, uh, uh, party banners. Uh, we're encouraging schools to come by. Uh, it'll be April 15th from 4 to 7 p.m. 4 to 7 and there will be lots of media there as well and it's really your time to really take the the rest of the day off because this is so important I would just encourage people not because one of my district people is helping coordinate with that from Hawaii Kai but this is a chance to show the people that live in this building i.e. the legislators and the politicians that you care and you want to make a difference now does that make a difference in the past you know how 444 the civil unions bill that took a lot of time to to turn around. There were 10,000, if not hundreds of people who showed up and said, no, we don't want that. So if the Tea Party gets even a gesture of a few hundred people, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a tremendous message to those in this building who say, hmm, maybe we are taxing a little bit too heavy. Because if the message is not there in person, sometimes we don't get it other than conceptually, and then it doesn't really go down into the heart. Well, people forget that they're getting away with taxing us so much because we're not saying anything. You know, mm -hmm. they're getting away mm. with That's with all true. this other stuff because the old special interest groups are fighting for their piece of the. Pie. You know, I'd love to see. I'd love to see this, even though it's being taped. I'd love to see live votes for taxation, live votes and discussion <laughs> of what we do. And if we really had transparency and the people could actually see us, all that we do mm -hmm. and all that we say, I think we'd have better government because people would so. be mindful of the things that they're doing behind closed doors. Representative Ching. Yeah. Why do you think these tea parties are popping up all over America now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, have you been like watching the, well, yeah, in London, it's not looking too good. We don't want to all. get there. You know, in London, they're, they're really upset. I guess, you know, they're still Britishers, right? That's how it all started. <laughs> oh, yes. But, um, well, yeah, I mean, people are realizing that, uh, uh, you know, their voices aren't. I think a lot of people feel their voices Drowned aren't being out. heard, um, particularly here in Hawaii. I mean, I can talk about Hawaii and, and all over the country. I think that uh, we're in an internet age, so everybody's pretty much on the same page often through um, the media sources. But here in Hawaii, I, I do think that there is um, a prevailing, um, almost a giving up also too that's what really more concerns me i'm happy when i see people get passion because there's energy there. well people have to work two to three jobs there you go you're uh, right just just like how you were saying for education purposes right, right. and then coupled with taxes and everything yeah. else i mean people just have to work too much and so at the end of the day 
They want to spend and, some time with right. their kids. And and are they being able, so I mean, as you say, I mean, I'm always talking about the holistic approach to government. We cannot talk about one part and not realize that it's affected by the other. You're right. When they don't have time with their kids, you have latchkey kids, you have kids who are going to get involved in graffiti, then the, then the businesses are asked to pony up to pay out uh, for graffiti or what have you, and the cycle starts again. But, you know, I am concerned because I have people coming up to me and saying, um, in fact, one um, constituent said, you know, um, he's a business owner, he's uh, in... Um, in the financial world, and he said, I'm thinking that legislators should be required that a bill needs to be passed to take economics 101. <laughs> you don't raise taxes in a bad economy. You know, and he's just, um, but but I hate to say, going back to, I, I am I concerned when people seem to want to just throw in the towel, and you know what you're going to get? When that happens, it's very serious, because what you're going to get is your, what you're going to get is an exacerbated brain drain. Mm -hmm. Already people are leaving. They are. They're saying, wow, I don't see it. I mean, it's like the Super Fairy. That was a tragic day. Super Fairy sailed off into the sunset because I am a strong supporter of agriculture. I'm a strong supporter of, um, you know, um, a lot of the things that the Super Fairy was providing. And, uh, and, and it trickles down. You know, that, that favorite restaurant you might like that serves up Hawaii regional cuisine, you know, how are they getting their upcountry what have you, uh, half of agriculture, uh, you know, I used to serve on ag, is of course not being grown on Oahu, because be, we're so urban, it's getting grown on the neighbor islands.